let's discuss current affairs manipur organized shirui li festival its fourth edition was organized this year they also celebrate sangai deer festival so shirui lili festival is a state level festival shirui lili is their state flower it's a very rare and endangered species in this festival they organize various cultural events beauty pageants adventure activities camping and even mountain trail biking so it's uh, it's celebrated in ukrul district it also attract a lot of tourism to state the tourism state tourism tagline is jewel of incredible india the jewel of incredible india is the tourism tagline for manipur recently pm modi gifted various artifacts from india showing our cultural heritage to other quad leaders in which sanchi art panel was gifted to us president so it's based on the theme of thakurani ghat thakurani ghat is drawn on this sanchi art panel it's famous one of the most famous ghats on the bank of holy river yamuna in gokul for australian pm god art depicting a tree of life was gifted god art is a famous art from gond tribe of mp it's uh, they basically draw various mythological their gods goddesses flora fauna their legends on these arts it's believed that uh, it's basically jangar sham who in 1970s and 80s began drawing these arts in on their walls of homes in his, in his village of uh, patangar so gond art is basically from madhya pradesh and uh, pm modi gifted australian pm the tree of life gond art recently wooden hand carved box was given to japanese pm so japanese pm was gifted with wooden carved box with a rogan painting now rogan painting rogan is a persian word and it's a painting it's a paint form or painting done on cloth so it's you can see green cloth on which golden and white painting is done so it's it's around 4 centuries old and it is from kutch district of gujarat so these box this a wooden hand carved box was given to japanese pm by pm modi world economic forum has released its 2021 travel and tourism development index the theme for this index this year was rebuilding for a sustainable and resilient future it covered 117 economies across five regions and 15 sub regions regionally europe and eurasia asia pacific regions dominated the index ranking sub saharan africa has also shown a great impo- improvement in performance india ranked at 54th position its eight ranks low low than uh, if compared if compared with previous rankings of 2019 the index was released on in 2019 so it has fallen eight ranks and its performance has also fallen by 2.6% its global uh, is sharing global uh, average is 3.6% so india has ranked 54th this year on world economic forum travel and tourism development index japan has ranked first japan is the top rank was on top followed by us and spain italy has uh, got 10th rank and canada has fallen from 10th to 13th rank so that's it world economic forum's travel and tourism development index ttdi 2021 ranks india at 54th position it's uh, it's covered 117 economies across five regions or and 15 sub regions japan has uh, topped the index and india is at 54th rank international day for biological diversity celebrated on 22nd may theme was building a shared future for all lives international yoga and naturopathy college will be set up in sikkim international yoga and naturopathy college this will boost medical tourism in northeast Union government announced a huge initiative in Sikkim and uh, which international yoga and naturopathy college will be set up in Sikkim. Sikkim and other hilly Buddhist states like Ladakh you will find there Soa Rigpa a very renowned and well documented practice 
also known as amchi amchi practice of medicine so it's basically traditional medicine or medicinal knowledge of uh, tibet ladakh these areas associated with buddhist knowledge so amchi traditions amchi practices so are ikpa practices this is traditional medical system and it is also intangible cultural heritage of india and it is well documented so that is also important that you will find so are ikpa and amchi practices in sikkim ladakh tibet and hilly areas dominated by buddhism world day for cultural diversity for dialogue and development celebrated 21st may it is being celebrated every year by unesco since 2001 ramban tunnel has collapsed it's it was under constru under construction it is on jammu shrinagar highway puri heritage Co uh, corridor project cost 3200 crores puri jagna temple uh, is one of the char dhams pilgrimages other three are dwarka rameshwaram and badrinath this temple is also called white pagoda it was constructed in the 20th uh, 12th century by ganga dynasty king eastern ganga dynasty king anant varman and in front of the entrance you will find aruna stamp or sun pillar which was originally at the sun temple in konar kodisa so sun temple in konark odisha is called black pagoda pagoda and uh, this one is called white pagoda it is also called yamnika tirth yam the god of death has been nullified in puri due to the presence of god uh, jagannath lord jagannath there are four gates to temple eastern western southern and northern on eastern gate you will find it's called singh dwar you will find two crouching lions on southern gate Southern gate is called Ashudwar, Western gate is called Vyagradwar, Northern gate is called Hastidwar, and there is carvings of each form at each gate. Like on Nardar Dwar, you will find uh, elephants. On Western Dwar, you will find Vyagra, that is lion. On Southern Dwar, you will find Ashudwar, that is horses. So it's very important temple. Puri Beach is also one of the blue flag, blue flag certified beach. So blue flags are given to uh, beaches, boats and jetties. They are given blue flags and Puri is one of them. Between Bangladesh and India, there are passenger train services which, ha which has been resumed after two years. And uh, Maitri Express, which is between Dhaka and Kolkata, has been flag off. So we, we have Bandhan Express between Kul, uh, Kolkata and Kulna, Mitali Express between J New Jalpaiguri and Shilguri. So there are three trains that run between Bangladesh and India. These are Maitri, Bandhan and Mitali. Mitali is between Jal, Jal, New Jalpaiguri and Dhaka. Bandhan is between Kolkata and Kulna. And new this Maitri Express is between Dhaka and Kolkata. Tanjavur Dolls has been given GI tag. It's from Tamil Nadu. You can see in the picture. Tanjavur dolls have got GI tag. It's a GI tag product now. Third edition of Asian Confluence Flagship Dialogue, Nadi, Natural Allies in Development and Interdependence Conclave was held in Guwahati. Guwahati, you where you will find Lokpriya Gopinath Airport. It talked about the area between Ganges. Ganga, the Holy Ganga, Brahmaputra, and Mekong. Mekong is transboundary river between uh, Tibet, China, Cambodia, Thailand. So, this dialogue, this uh, conclave, Nadi conclave, naturalized in development interdependence held in Guwahati. Nechipur Tunnel is in Arunachal. It's being constructed. It's a new project, Nechipu Tunnel. In fact, there are 19 tunnels that are being con uh, constructed in border areas with, uh, with Pakistan and China. One of them is Shinkula Tunnel, which will be constructed uh, between Himachal and Ladakh, connecting Himachal and Ladakh, Shinkula Tunnel. And Nechipu Tunnel is in Arunachal. Eighth edition of International Yoga Day. International Yoga Day is celebrated on 21st on June every year. It was started in the year 2015. Theme for this year, the 8th edition was Yoga for Humanity and Peace. 
Malvia mission. Malvia mission is very important mission. It was, it is, uh, so it's launched by Ministry of Education. So it is aimed at developing faculty in institutions, providing an environment where faculty and teachers, uh, they get trainings, they get, uh, they are aimed at their development. Wadnagar city was in re news recently because ASI has unearthed some structures depicting or confirming the existence of some Buddhist uh, monasteries in Vardnagar city of Gujarat. Vardnagar is also very famous for Tana Riri festival. Tana Riri were two sisters uh, and associated with music, well recognized their music, uh, their for their music. Their temple is also built there, Tana Riri temple. So Vardnagar is famous for Tanriri festival also and Vardnagar city is also associated with PM Modi, his early childhood days. National Endangered Species Day is celebrated on 20th of May. This year's theme was recovering key species for ecosystem restoration. This year it was celebrated on 20th May. Every year it is celebrated on 3rd Friday of May. International Day for Biological Diversity celebrated on 22nd May. Theme was Building a Shared Future for All Lives. Sri Swami Narayan Temple, which is in Buj, was in news because of a yoga shiver uh, that was organized there and it was addressed by President of India. So, Sri Swami Narayan Temple built by Swami Narayan Trust, it's in Gujarat. Ministry of Culture celebrated 250th birth anniversary of Raja Ram Mohan Roy. So Raja Ram, Ram Mohan Roy was born in Murshidabad district of Bengal in Radhanagar village. On his two, 250th birth anniversary, they unveiled his iconic statue in Kolkata. In Kolkata, you will also find Raja Ram Mohan Roy Museum Art Gallery, uh, Raja Ram Mohan Roy Library also. So that's the end of this video. Thank you. Have a great day.